Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. I'm casually here just sitting, shunting some Whalemur, and I thought it'd be a good time to actually make a video talking about something. Uh, you might have already noticed this, but I actually stopped making videos. I stopped covering Pokemon catch events. Um, there's a lot of reasons why. Um, they take a surprising amount of time. They are my quickest videos, I will say, because obviously just record. Um, the main time sink comes from doing all the description and doing all the details and then making a nice thumbnail. Thumbnails are really important. Uh, each thumbnail takes me probably anywhere from like 20 to 40 minutes. Um, once again, catch event thumbnails are on the lower end around 20 minutes. Um, so they do take minimum probably 30 minutes to do, which isn't crazy. Uh, pretty low end for a video, definitely low you know, requirement. But I would just upload catch event videos as sort of an extra video. Usually it would never be like the daily video, of course. So that doesn't, you know, that kind of doesn't count, right? Um, but my reason for doing this is mostly that most people if you understand youtube you understand that if you upload a video and it gets let's say you know four thousand views does really well that's really well for me it's pretty good um if you then upload another video it gets recommended more in the algorithm it does better uh it may get you know five or six thousand views and keep the train rolling if i were to upload a catch event like a basculin catch event right after that it gets 500 600 views it kills my momentum. It kills my my channel momentum. And it really hurts my content. Unfortunately, it hurts my numbers and it hurts uh, me spreading the word and information of Pokemon, which is pretty counterproductive to my goals, right? Um, which is unfortunate because I, I love making catch event videos, and they are really good and they are really helpful to let players know about that information. But I do think at the end of the day, we're reaching a point where it is starting to counteract my goals. A little too much unfortunately so i'm going to show you guys this is where you go to find catch events i always link this and i always talk about this in the descriptions of all my videos and who knows maybe i'll still cover like the big ones it's very possible like i might still cover like the ev catch events the ditto ones etc let me know in the excuse me in the comments what you guys want to see um it's really up to you guys what works best for you guys but hopefully you guys understand i, I do think that i think i think this is the best decision but if you disagree with it, let me know. Let your voice be heard. If you think I should still cover every single catch event, um, let me know in the comments. I really genuinely appreciate your guys' feedback. Um, but I understand if people aren't going to watch, you know, a live part catching event, I mean, I'm not going to, I probably wouldn't watch it either. You know, like I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to kid myself. Right? Like, I'm not, I, don't, I don't want you guys to watch every single video just, just because I'm uploading. I want you guys to watch the videos you guys enjoy uh, and are interested in. And it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a fact that not many people are interested in these like niche, niche, niche Pokemon catch events. But anyways, if you go to the Pokemon forums, all you need to do is scroll down all the way down to official events, uh, click on that. And then if you just scroll through, you'll usually see, um, catch events pop up. So we see uh, prehistoric encounter. This is a catch event today. We see zero, zero, one, zero, zero, yada, yada. That's on the 17th. Um, if you just go to this page you'll get all of these catch event updates. I believe there is also a bot in the official Pokemon Discord, um, which I should link down below. Um, and that also gives you like pings or notifications on all the events that Pokemon post up on their forums at all, even the PVP one. So if you want to be caught up to date on events, definitely go to the forum post. It's the best way to do it. If you don't want to check like the forums every day, I get it because I don't like to do that either. Um, uh, maybe getting that Discord bot or paying attention to at least Discord, some you know social function is going to help you get that information. I'm sorry that my channel may not be that anymore for a lot of people. I will try to, maybe I'll upload the big ones like I talked about, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes moving forward. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Quick little channel update, I guess. Quick quick little small change. Um, hopefully you guys agree with it. If not, let me know. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon content. Follow the Twitch for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo all really do help out a ton. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace.